Brittle or rotation. You're nothing. The trade could be there though. It's a nice dismiss to see what more angles you can get. If you see what's a little bit more, Fatidia trying to hold on to the wall is going to break in the part. And now Alliance is starting to get more kills in their favor. Yeah, Alliance taking a couple back. It's important they get those kills quickly through being able to deliver shots. I'm quite surprised that we saw. Figured out their problems. And now that spike going down, it should be another round locked in, no problem for Alliance. For Vodafone Giants right now, it's all about trying to do as much damage as possible. You bring down as many of the Alliance players as you can. Force those rebuys, but Jusu has found David P. He's continuing to move forward, devouring them as he goes. And will be Fatinho hitting the deck. Virot in a form swell here for Alliance, so they're just keeping the casualties at a minimum. And in fact, it is just Ambi left alone. Not a single kill has come in from the defensive side, and a flawless round for Alliance. Nicely away in this little gap. The Aldron has just missed him, and nobody's really checking in this position, at least Ooh. not yet. This is a lot of space. A bit of patience oh. and a bit of waiting, and Juicy might have mucked it up, but no, that's two kills. Nicely done from him on this lurk. He's going to find Patino in the smoke. He's actually connected onto from some of that sober util. A good work from the, the young Irish talent that's come in, but Hoodie suddenly, three kills out of nowhere. Yeah, Hoodie's lined him up, he's got another one! Hoodie now looking for all five, can he shut it down alone? He can! Hoodie rips them apart, he destroys their round right in front of him, and we thought it was going to be enough, we thought... ...in towards this A side, Fettino's position is known, he's under a good bit of pressure here. He's been able to get the pick, and oh, oh, no. oh, he gets out of dodge, but he's right in the wall. He dashes into the wall, and his teammates cannot bail him out. Jusu heading the headshot. And now a three versus three. Vipers pit up. And he's going to actually just run straight in. He's going to be hungry for that. Meadow is there to trade, but hype with respect. He can find himself a lot here, because Juicy is pushing through shoot. There's that duel. Meadow wins it out. He needed to really do that considering, but now the question is, what's David P going to do? Again, it's one of these really awkward aggressive angles. If he can get just one, it might be enough, especially if he's peeking up into a player that has the operator, but not scoped in. He's actually oh. there to get a little bit more. Hype yeah. trades him eventually. The Viper gets to kill onto the enemy Viper, but it's still a two versus four. Meadow's on the site. Meadow's up on top, he's dropped down, oh, a little bit of a gap for him to play with, and Hyper's hit the deck, Meta goes back, corner, Lucker low, Willie pulled him, and spray away from the Vandals, allowed Hoodie a kill, put the Leer out as well, David P, he's picking up headshots right now for the defensive side, but Hype keeps making it close, we've still got a chance here for Alliance as they get into the side, but these lineups from Hype, well they come in to fight, we off moving forwards, Nick fight onto the plant itself, and Hype trying to line them up, turn up the anti be a bit more aggro. Damapi, hiding around, here comes Hunter Fury, oh, Damapi no. is actually going to be caught by his own teammate, Ambi takes down Damapi, could have been able to deliver something for the defensive side, but he's eliminated, and that is completely throwing matters into an absolute chaotic situation, Alliance will be happy about that in this 4v4, Ice Wall starting to break, Hoodoo's hit a headshot, Jusu's position though, does he get spotted by the Aldron? It's gone past him, it hasn't seen the layer is through. Jusu gets one quickly, dismisses in behind yellow, but he couldn't get to cover. Fatimios came in with a kill, and now it's onto the lineups. The shock darts, the snake bites are all going in for this post plant, but the defuse has already come through. A little too far, Hoodie's position is about to be found, and oh, this is just ships in the night. No way, the time ace just continue to work against him, but here comes the play. David P, he takes down Kadabra. The play in, the fight for they both go together. What is going on right now? It's like looking in the mirror right now between the two Vipers, the two Raiders. Finally, Pike will hit the deck. Patino and Hoodie getting kills for the defensive side, and it's all shut down in the end. Oh. Play a hit and go bang, 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 def, def, def. That's what Meadow has been really solid at overall. Oh, both him and Patino about to buddy up, pushing through mid. The rest of Alliance have made their way onto the A side. Oh, Fearoth getting the last kill with the final burst of the Hunter's Fury. Be the victim of it, but Pino's Bladestorm trying to make something happen. Just about caught on the Leer, so he's now thinking about the Heaven entrance point. To have a peace flank here for the Giants could work out, but it comes down to the timing. Does Hype see him?
This is a little bit telegraphed. I've never peeped oh. on this a few times. Doesn't matter though, he's still gonna make it work. Yeah, and well, he is gonna throw that snake bite in. They know exactly where he is, but that's information on Sephiroth's whereabouts. Finally, Dab and Pete taken out. It's Kadabra focusing in towards the back lines, but they've drawn attention away. They give a slight chance to Fatinho, but with that Blade Storm, he's alone, so he goes down. Four players stay alive for the Alliance. So many times, Alliance expects it. It's an easy kill, and they know that he's not gonna be part of that fight. Fatinho. Good kill with the Operator, it is raised and traded out actually from Jusu, who's able to get onto David P as well. This is really good work from the Alliance on this execute. Yeah, lovely start for now. The Empress pulled as well. Five versus three, Alliance with that spike down in this post plant are feeling very comfortable. Especially because they've got two of these post plant agents, you know, got the Silver, Fira, got that Viper available. Makes things quite difficult now for the Giants to get back in. Got a one towards yellow, but Kadabra's off is coming off the cross. Meadows coming with a headshot and now looking for the follow up, but Firoth and Jusu shut it all down. The Alliance, they're trying to break this wall, but the spike is going to get planted and nobody's dead on either side oh. at this point. Huddy almost goes down. It hold is on this angle. And the peak is coming in a bit more loosely from Fatinio, just dodges the shock dart and lost the has been attempted. Oh, it's another awkward dashing for Fatinio, ends up in a more dangerous position, and this has suddenly got really awkward. Yeah, all the kills just start going back and forth, but it's traded equal blows. Two versus two, tap on the Look defuse has come through, one bullet left for Dava P. He's gone down and Meadow is still hanging around default. This is going to be a position they have to check, and Meadow is so good in clutches, but this time, Jusu. I just yet, yeah. Recon Dart has actually pulled some information, but not all, but Jusu remains convinced of playing this angle and especially people are going to check him now comfortably then yeah he's all for it oh they're getting overrun no could set up on the initial defense but they've been traded out three for three david p running deeper into the site walls up there's a gap for him to play with he's going to use that snake fight he's actually going to swing with it shock dots going through but they haven't connected david p take it one lucky now moving forward with the aries he's been able to take one kill but david p has got a 3k and so that viper pit comes out Hype tries to get up, climbs the ropes, dives down and now trying to deny them. So oh, he's nearly done it, he denies the plant coming through, Meadow's got to get onto it. Hype again, die! Noddy, checking all of these angles, fear off, whoa, this is awkward really. He wants to try and play in close, but that snake fight comes in. David P of all people means that Alliance are trying to play this high press line, but with these classics, they're just trying to get in close. This is good from Giants. Nice scaling, it's all with jewels, but suddenly all of the pistols get all of the kills. How has that happened? But I don't know. David P is now the last to be alive. He was one that was really setting up this nice pressure, but then suddenly. He's entirely motivated with death, and he's looking for his kill around the corner. Lucker lies, and he just goes for the frag. Oh. We not. I've never seen classics and chefs get that many kills. It's so glory. Yeah, they might be able to do. Oh, more. that's another weird dash. The both teams are really suffering from this, but at least Jisoo's there to try and clean up house. Him and Fair are going to be playing on some of these angles. The layer lets the Aldron fly to see exactly what it can grab. And Jusu's all of that stuff on the side. But this nice little peek is going to come in just to try and shut down Ambi. And eventually, look at where the storm gets it. Yeah, I've got these shot guards as well. But Hoodie looking for the lineup. He's got one. Nearly goes back in for a second. And Ambi just hanging around the extremities is now left alone. Will Vodafone Giants pull off another round that Alliance could possibly pick up? The lineup was nearly. He's having the Viper's Pit. The Viper's Pit is going to be used on the first one to one day. And whilst Jusu gets her first kill, Meadow has the rest to bring it out. Now Kada's in a position that can do some pretty good work. World Press is dedicated, and Kada makes it more expensive on the side of Giants and Alliance. Right, Tabro doing a good job. It will be the man advantage in play here for Alliance. They're going to try and hold it. Jusu being held back for the meantime. He's going to enjoy this position on the defense. Box the screen going up again. I think right now, Alliance will be happy with the control they've got in the defense. They're quite pushed up. Yeah. Ooh, look at Hoodie. He's in kitchen. Of course he is. Of course he is. And the right Empress behind him just again. run out, so he doesn't have that advantage. And Fearoff, he's a smart player. He knows to sort of play this spot. Oh, oh he's going to show up at the end and just has the sight line. He just a cheeky peek to see onto Hoodie. Juice is still here. We saw a little bit of away and he's done exactly that for the second time Juicy gets the kill dismisses out 
Cool. And Meadow, after using the res, it's all up to him. And a big screen, and I don't know what he would have been smoking if he did that, but he's going to do a good corner. He'll try and go past it through the cubby. They don't know. Check him. Kadabra with two, nearly a third, but Hype's turn to step out with a couple and fear off. Vodafone Giants. Lear out from Hoodie, they get close in towards the site, but Alliance, they are running right down the place. They're playing quite passive. Talks' screen goes down, reveals the kill for Hoodie. Ambi's been able to get one as well, and Lucker. He's going to that barrier up, and the spike getting planted here for Meadow, and Juicer was often on these flanks coming in behind. Are they watching for it? They are, but he's caught the perfect timing. Eventually, Meadow turns around, and as soon as he looks that way, a bullet reaches his face. Another one for Juicer. It's all on Ambi, and he has to try and do it all. He does. He finds three from Yellow. Incredible round for this map. So you have... He can break it down here, Hype. Spike with two forward. Clear goes through. That's getting offset. His cross out. Really well played there from Hoodie. And they take control of Snowman. They needed to really do that. And they're actually getting a little bit more alliance. Trying to see what spaces are safe. But they're just showing their skin a little bit too much. And that's where the knife can really stab in for Giants. Hoodie over now over towards Orange. Needs to be a little bit careful that he doesn't get shot in the back from Kitchen. Checking his angle. And yeah, that's where Juice is going to be. He's there for the rest of this. Three versus four. Giants are really locking himself in towards B. Alliance can still make it happen though. Lear in. Jusu trying to get aggressive. Did shoulder to you. Got info. Goes out for the second. Dooms. Misses back in behind Yellow again. They're really trying to eliminate him, but Jusu does not die. Somehow still doing it. And now body blocking his teammate on the deep. Juice Kadabra's got it to half. Meadow with a quick shot off. And they're not on the spike anymore. Meadow clutches out the round. Deep with the Sage Wall. If he's going to know it's coming through and because this wall's about to break, he's going to get out of there. At this point, Giants are still dedicating to their play, which is over on a all five players. And that's a great duel for Hoodie to win the start off. Yeah, Hoodie with the first. He also got the updraft. And Fatinho's got a good position because of that two-man advantage. Now crumbling for the defensive alliance. Not a single kill up until this point. Luckers come through with it. He still has that res available. But getting his teammates up is going to be so difficult. And now he's down as well. Just hype. He's inside of the Viper's pit. Can't really afford to touch that snake bite. He's just sitting back in the corner of force, and now they know exactly where he's playing from. They're trying to eliminate him. The red's coming through as well. Hype trying his best. In place uh, as the coaching spot now. A little bit more Irish representation on the board. And Davo P, he's got himself one. Lucker has gone down, threw it out from Cadavra. The Meadows come in with the headshot, so we are at this, this gap. four versus three. Bit of a gap in the wall, but Meadows not dropping back. Spike coming through, it's planted. Alliance are going to drop back in a 3v4. What oh, Juicer, I love oh. how he's trying to play around that, but Meadow drops back and finds the headshot. He just knows. And if anybody gets close to him, he just crumples them. He's got a little radius, a little Meadow radius, and they'll fear off just him and Hype. And Hype is a nice little lurk here. But then he's looking in that general direction, but a lot of focus actually going in onto that spot. Hype. That's a nice snake bite. Meta would be able to get oh. halfway, and Hive actually managing to shoot through the wall. There, he was a, a top performer in Challengers 1. Challengers 2, well, he could be the difference. David P, he's on a David P angle. He's not going to get checked, but he checks it so awkwardly that he runs into free alliance players. Now, Meadow oh. yet again from this angle has to clean up, but it's just over swarm. The counter actually gets in behind, and Ambi finds him too. Yeah, it's a little rat play from Cadavera just flanking up in behind him, but that spike eventually looking to be planted. Shot starts landing on position. Spike will not go down. They have to try and plant it again. Ampy starting to come forward. They get the spike planted finally in Chusu. That's their 16-year-old reactions coming in. Headshot onto Ambi. And now it is just Fatinho. We talked about how good he's been. A nice shot out and nearly the second control early on. Just a tiny little gap that Jusu was able to get a kill onto Fatinio just before that recon dart pulses. Hoodie, at least, yet again, has opened up this A site. This is the second time that it's happened. First, it was David P that moved over there. It's aggression coming oh. instantly through me, oh. but Ambi's there waiting through all of them. Oh. Enemy remaining. Three kills, incredible hold from Ambi. Just catching him as they try and rotate over. He couldn't even really get much more done than that. I, I thought he was done after two, but somehow he even gets away with a third kill. And now Kadavra, well, he's left trying to figure out 
Is there even a chance? Welcome Dash is back in behind Yellow, but that's no longer available. He doesn't have that uh. tailwind. And Juicy, he has a perfect angle to take down the Orper. And that is going to be Fatinho out of play. Dabapina trying to be the nuisance right to the toxic screen. An aggressive play, always part of Dabapi's game plan. But it's only resulted in one kill, and the Alliance are coming out on top. This is so scrappy. Oh, Hoodie brings it to a two versus two. The shrug that is going to come in on to look, oh. but it doesn't quite connect. The layer is going to get him right in the back, and there it is. What a fun giant. Yeah. It's nothing to do with fins in the ice, man. It's just it's levels him up. He's got a buff on this map, it feels. He's just been incredible. 25 and 22. He's had moments from the very beginning of this icebox map and now continuing them into overtime from Alliance. But they're doing a good job not over-rotating. Eventually, they will start thinking about that. But they're still keeping two on A. Fatinho is going to go down over towards B. And here comes this A play. Hoodie has so many angles to check, and no surprise, Juicy was up there all along, but he can't get the KL, he leers to go back into this space and kind of take the fight against Sonny. the layer's good, but Meadow's peak is just a little bit better. And Juicy underneath the ropes with the walls going up, he hasn't taken it down, that's going to allow the spike to come through, but those shock darts, will they reach the spike planter? It's certainly going to inflict some damage, but no denial of the plant, and now trying to line them up as fear off, he couldn't do it, so it's all on to Lucker. One versus three. There's not enough done from the defense to make him feel comfortable into this one. Three players he's got to find. He goes forward in towards the site. Found with a headshot. Hoodie brings him down. It's good enough to have this reverse sweep coming oh. in. And well, Luck has found himself a little Jill with Fatinho, and he goes down almost instantly. I love that. Fatinho peeks with the guiding light. And that pulls the crosshair of Lucker away. Gives him a nice easy kill, but Alliance are in behind. Kadabra has done well to take Fatinho out of play, but Firoth is there as well. And they're aware of his position. They know that he's here. He has got that over the surprise and the guiding light goes through. Somehow, I don't know how, Firoth's still alive and he gets away with a kill. Finally shut down. Meadow has picked up one and it's all on to Jusu now. Not really making the wall work. He stuck it behind it now and he needs to chop it down. <laughs> That's a little unfortunate there for Jusu. And he might just die because of it. That was all part of the plan. <laughs> Calculated. I'm telling you. Yeah, it was all this out there. Like, he was very late to the fight playing Killjoy. He was very much a Cypher main. And Giants, well, they're trading out a few kills now across all of the different parts of the map as Juicy goes to push a pick. And Shower's control has been really nice from Giants so far. I have my early understandings of this Giants team. Because I think that's one of my biggest criticisms of Meadow. He does seem to be quite a, a linear player in terms of how he, which agency he likes to select. It's a shame, really, because that's probably the weakest side of his play. Everything else is incredibly solid. He just seems to be hard to break. And Jusu he finds himself a nice little bit of space, being able to maybe slip through this execute. But he's spotted almost instantly in Giants. Well, they're showing why they wanted to play this map in the first place, as Fatinho is going to clear the back of the site. Two players live for Alliance again, coming in from Defender Spawn. Firoth might just push out of the smoke after this flash Got a nice passive position. He actually went for the double shot as well to try and take. <laughs> Does say that? He's his little brother. <laughs> they both play different roles as well. There's yeah, the yeah. life pick from height. Had a juicy fear of all pushing out, and it's a bit of a slim result for both sides. But that's a good kill. Look at taking that advantage as Hoodie was trying to slip on through. A lot of the tension folks pissed towards two. Yeah. Kind of sees one, the paint shell is meant to maybe show that he's wanted to exit, and he hasn't. He goes on to Ambi. Blindly fire it into default, but Hoodie's cut in the corner. Now Spike's gonna go down. Kadabra really is making the difference, not with a showstopper, but with a Vandal instead. He's found a double kill. Paint shell's going through. Meadow's being held off. He cannot get that spike across safely right now. Luckily, there is just under a minute left, so there's still time for the Giants to figure out how to approach this one, but they're down in a 4v2. It's going to be tricky. This fight against Kada is possible, but not if Hype takes this peek at the same time, and it's been watched keenly from Lucker. This crossfire is good, and Kada can afford to be a bit more proactive in that fight. And uh, times to peak nicely. That's on to one. That's on to two. Okay, this has suddenly got exciting, but let's see where they roughly line, but almost instantly destroyed. They're off trying to flash out oversteps oh. the mark a little bit, but that's just enough. There's the lockdown. There's the orbital strike to take it out. Lots of ultimates dedicated. Yes, uh, Fearoth needs to get out of that, but yeah, the, the lockdown's been 
taking out a play now. Hoodie going aggressive. He's found two so They're just keeping him off the spike for the deep boost. Finally starting to come through and again. No. Hoodie takes him off it yet again. The drill blazer goes out. The guy they like back and forth. They go. The flash is back it in. And now Firo goes for the swing. He's got the 3k and fight it out. So the Rez is getting a little bit of action early on. That wall's actually broken down quite quickly. Rez has come through. Hiked back up to his feet. And once again, it's Alliance with five players alive. Considering the chaos, we haven't seen how much of David P. And just as I said, I get shut down from Jusu, who, whilst he's not dragging out on the Rainer, he really isn't letting anything past him. Man B takes a lot of damage just to take him down, and the spike is dropped. I really don't understand where Giants are getting his money from at this point. Kind of at least there's Jusu to trade. He might just go out to try and get there at this point. Just a boom bot to, to keenly look it out. But with Huddy dying, I think hold on to the ultimates, especially that he gets a second. Clear it perfectly. Hamby's just facing the wall so he doesn't get flashed, but he ends up just showing his back to Jusu, who's just going to continue to clean house. Even off the duelist, this guy's a madman. It's been a, an awkward phase. Jusu, well, he's been perfect as he's going to use the opposite strike. He's going to push him off of it, but not enough pressure. And suddenly it's all used at once, and the only ultimate to get a kill is Kada's showstopper. Orbital Strike, Hunter's Fury, nothing. The fear off now with the Operator, well, I mean, why not? You've been sitting on so much money for so long. Scrooge McDuck it with the off. Trying to break on through still onto this side. And see if they can get a kill. That's nice movement from Patino. That's a needed trade for Jusu. Uh, well, it is down to Lucker inside the Dream Can. He spots out Dava P. He's got that. Spike in his back, and there goes the lockdown finally being used up, but immediately killed. <laughs> and hell, Hoodie is in a nice spot, but he could be hit from both sides, and that utility is just going to usher him out. Lovely stuff from Kada. And Ambi, he's walled off. He doesn't have any utility. Recon that not ready for 30 seconds. Meadow's going to go hunted in for the kill, and it was needed because hype was looming over that. Oh, well, Meadow has been able to get one. Now the 3v4 lines continuing to have that man advantage into this post plan. And be trying to break a hole in the wall. Eventually we'll do a sell on Patino. Well, he's going to get one of the pain shells. So that's actually drawn it back into the equilibrium again. Cadaver is holding this close angle, and I see so many players go down to yeah, this angle. Cadaver is ready with a frenzy, but somehow, some way, the Giants are casualties. You don't want to lose too many members. And Meadow is letting them walk right into a spectrum. He might be out of field day here, but he only gets away with one. It's the group up play. It's the spacing from Alliance that has allowed these kills to come in. Cadaver has got one of the pain shells. Lucker getting one on the ghost, and now they've also got the spike planted. It's a two versus two, it's a winnable round here for Alliance. Very winnable considering, can they pick up some better guns? Because Feroth is just working with a classic. The recon that is going to pulse. There's still a pick to play off. That's a nice One little peek and it runs right into the hands of Kada. That's good positioning from him. His position wasn't given up. And now it's a one versus one. The paint shell's going to be bowled onto the defuse. Ambi doesn't want to peek. It has to do a little bit better. It has to change up the angle. But the opponents of Alliance and things are starting to look good for Cadaver and Lucker. They found a double kill between them. Meadow elsewhere has scrapped away one from the Sheriff, but things are not looking great for Giants. Up until that, that's, that's a nice takeaway. Maybe they can get a little bit more out of this, Ryan. Lovely little lineup, yeah. Maybe. Just make it at least a bit more expensive for Alliance, considering how much they were running away with the money on their defense. Even forcing out this optical strike from Lucker would be nice, but not likely. But the push and the press is coming in. It's keeping two players from the side of Alliance on this side. And Ambi as well. He's making it interesting. Lucker has the angle at the ruddy dab. Run into a stack. Oh, it's like a medieval battle. They're about to meet head to head. As they walk down into eight short, the showstop has come through and it will connect. Ambi's down, but do they check Fatinho? Do they check him? The answer is no. And Fatinho's found a double. Finally, Firoth coming in, and the guy behind him. continues to give them space, but Hoodie trying to get the flank on, trying to get in behind them. He's got Meadow to try and help him out. That spike hole, it's going down, but will they survive for much longer? The answer is no. And now, using the flash, they predicted the position of Firoth, and they're going to clear him. Planting in on this Viper's Pit, but it doesn't get anybody. The blast pack is at least going to make Firoth freak out a little bit more. And there goes the Viper's Pit. It drops as Patino is the one to get the kill. So much ultimate usage coming in towards the side straight away. Firoth gets cleaned up. Patino doesn't want to let that spike go down. They have no desire to play a retake. Instead, they're just going for the Nanoswarm that's going to play off of Patino. He's going to go for the peak. 
He loses the fight. Now Meadow is actually having to back off a little bit. Shouts control is decent considering oh. this hole. The David P, that's a nice kill to get and he's hungry for a little bit more. David P, the, the barber now, he's giving out haircuts. Too much off the top for that one. Spike unable to go down eventually will start to. Remember that wall is still up on the other side of those smokes, so cover to get back into a better post card. Kadavra, in the meantime, has got into such a good position. He's taken down a player, and now Dava P has a bit more pressure. Hoodie has to go and focus on that heaven play. In fact, they both have to, and Kadavra eventually goes down, but he's delayed them. He's drawn them away from the site and their goal to get back in, and that's cost them precious seconds. Seconds they don't really have to lose. They're going to start going forward. Stim Beacon down to spray away, and the Molly's going on to the site. The Molly to prevent Vent the defuse and Jusu now just buying more time playing in towards lamps. Molly's burning away and Hoodie has been unable to find anything. He concedes the round, goes for the teleporter, and that Molly coming out in the fight. A bit more recessive in terms of not having players inside of sight. Just a slow approach here from Alliance. Oh, Fatinho. Yeah, just through the smoke. This position has been punished a few times just because it feels that he, he's hungry for a peek and if somebody just watches it, they can take it. I mean, that's something that certainly something that Jusu wants to do at this point and the Seekers is going to be scary. The Orbital Strike coming in as well. Meadow is just poking down in this position and Kata is going to make sure that they get rinsed one by one and is able to find just a little bit more. Oh, Kadavra and Lucker taking kills between them, and now a two versus three. 20 seconds as that spike gets planted. Lucker Hoodie. looking to lock it in, and again, Hoodie. He was on the flanks and icebox. He starts to do it again here on Bind. He's put his opponents in a bit of a bind themselves, and he continues to constrict them. And now it is looking so rough for Alliance. Firoth is making the long wrap. Luckily, they're not committing to the defuse, but he doesn't know that. The fact that... You know, you can never really count the Giants out, because they always find a way back in. I don't know how they do it, but they, they generally do. And Hoodie, oh my god, again? Seriously? This guy just doesn't stop, another double for him. And that's how we start the round. It's out of nowhere as well, because we're watching a play about to happen, and then suddenly two kills from the other side of the map. Interesting. The Frenzy could have got a couple more if he didn't have to reload. But luckily, Looker is there to follow up on one HP. He's flashed, the Trailblaze is going to kill him. Oh, it doesn't actually, it doesn't do any damage. I forgot about that, but never mind. ...round between overtime or a victory for the Vodafone Giants. We have already had OT between these two teams. One that, for a point, looked like it was going to line. That's what you want for Fatinho just before he gets to that position. We've not really seen that much operating, so it completely takes Alliance by surprise. There isn't a res just yet on Jusu. How far away is he from having it? He is one away, so maybe he can go pick up the orb and get into that spot, but that requires getting Fatinio off this line. So this is doable. There's a way to turn this around. And Fatini, I think oh. at this point, pick up the orb. <laughs> like, I'll use the showstopper, pick up the orb. Don't let them have it. Oh. But now oh, it's way to way it. too expensive. Now that's a way of doing it right. Oh, oh my god, right. Oh no, not the orbital strike. Lucker just.